guys! Welcome back to more FIFA Street 2. So in this part we are going to finish up this little series here, the Beat Battles one. We've got to get 1500 trick points to do it. I love how you can just press, you can just press A and it just goes straight to the match. You don't have to mess around making a team this early on in the game, which is really nice. Because uh, that's something you have to do every time in uh, the original FIFA Street. But uh, here we are, Mex is this Mexico City? I think it it is. It's at night time, so we've got to get to 1,500 points. Should be pretty straightforward. I mean, we've been pretty good on this game so far uh, and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see what happens this time around. I think we're always the away team, I think, as well. Because I was getting real confused in the last episode of which team we were. And all that Schweinsteiger business and all that stuff. So, you know. You know, guys. You know, you know the stuff. Like, what am I trying to do here? Come on. That's it. That's good. That's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, what? You couldn't shoot and bank them points for us. Come on, man. That was bull crap. Oh, come on, though. He's making a chump out of me here. Come on, I need backup. Whoa, no. This is bad. See, that's the thing. I think when it is like a beat battle, though, like the computer doesn't really shoot at goal. Like they just try and go for the trick points like they should be doing. And I really needed to get that right because if not, that would have been a goal. And even though it doesn't really too much. See, that's the thing. Like if you bring the goalkeeper out of the goal, um, doesn't really matter too much, especially on a beat battle. So, yeah, that's something. And, oh, you know what? I'll just, I'll just do this all day. I can I can gladly do this all day. Are you are you for real? This is broken as hell. Oh, okay, he went for me eventually. I got quite a few hundred points there from doing that though. Like didn't I get over like 600? Like seriously, that was broken as hell right there. <laughs> Like I could do I could you know, I could do this again. Oh, I can move with it. I can do it again, bro. I can I can keep this up all day. I can just run away from you if I want. Well, I'm nearly like on a thousand points there. That was amazing. You know what? You could just do that. You could just do that. Ah, oh, I tried to take on the keeper there and I really shouldn't have. Oh, crap! Yes, that's it. Got him. Just keep it. Keep the ball. Keep the ball. Keep the ball. Keep the ball. What are you doing? Just keep the ball till it runs out. That'll do. That's good stuff, boy. That's good stuff, boy. Go on, yes. Ah, oh, couldn't finish it. Oh, what? I get really nervous when the uh, when the opponent gets a game breaker. We can't allow them to score, though. I don't, because I don't know if they're... It's kind of interesting to see whether or not they actually... And I think he was going for it there, but like, to see if they actually try to score when the possibility of a game breaker is on in a beat battle. Um, I think they try to. I mean, they should do. I mean, it would make a better gameplay, I suppose, make it more challenging, but yeah. Ah, oh, shot there. Oh, that was a good save. <laughs> I'll give him that one. That was a good save. But uh, yeah, this episode, I did say in the last... Oh, here we go. I did say in the last episode we're going to try and... Um, uh, we're going to try and... Um, oh, I wonder if I could beat them all. No, screw it. <laughs> he was too way too close to the keeper there. Um... Yeah, try and get our player up to 40 this episode. But, um, yeah, I guess, I guess the more points you do, the more, like, skill builds you do get and whatnot. So, to be honest, this should quite help us a bit in this episode. Um, yeah, also, I don't believe... Because you have to be all three out outfield players to actually, um, like, get an instant knockout. I don't think you get anything extra for beating the keeper as well on top of that. If anybody knows, let me know, but I don't think you do get anything extra. I mean, maybe you get a few more points, but that's probably about it. Um, I mean, a knockout is a knockout. You can, how how can you get better than a knockout? You know what I'm saying? Um, so, you know, I don't think it really does anything. Maybe just a couple of extra points. Oh, it, may, it might even make the points like go. It should maybe like make them go right up, actually. Maybe should like times four it or something like that, I think. Oh, how did you not score that? Come on. You know what, this is just easy stuff. Look, if you do that, you just press like the triangle button or the Y button on an Xbox and then just run around. Just hold, I think you have to hold the the left trigger button or, or like L1 and L2 or whatever and then just like hold it and then that's just like it. 
and then you can just run around. But they do come after you after a while, so it is programmed. Because I originally, like in the first Fever Street, you could just perform tricks in your own half for like ages, and it would just be like really easy just to build up a game breaker. But uh, this one, it's a little bit more than that. And there we go, we've done it. I mean, that took quite a while to do that actually, but. Uh, this one you can just sort of, you know, do keepy uppy and get some extra points. I think it's like 25 points for every one that you do, so... Look, stop doing a James. Like, seriously, we've been through this every time. It just doesn't make sense. And uh, we earned a share. Nice. Anyway, guys, I've got my player up to 35 now. It's getting a little bit more expensive now to um, to upgrade him, so... Yeah, you know what, I'm even thinking this might even take another episode here to actually get him up to 40. I thought that maybe we might be able to do it this episode, but by the looks of it, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to. So what we might have to actually do is just keep playing some series here until we eventually get enough points to actually upgrade him to 40. We're not too far off, I mean, we're on 35. Anyway, we're going to do another panel one, I think. Actually, you know what, in this episode, we'll do... We'll do a keep it up and then we'll do a game breaker one maybe just to end off this episode uh, with. And by the end of this episode, I'm hoping that my player might be around 37 slash 38 uh, if possible. So if he is 37 slash 38, it should be maybe one more episode. Um, and then that should be it because I ca th the problem is I can't predict when we're going to get to that point. That's the problem. You know, what I mean, I predicted it maybe in the last episode, and as it turns out, that's not the case. It's not we're not actually going to make it this episode. So um, yeah, I can't really do anything about that. So uh, here we go again. Like, come on, we just need like a nutmeg or something here just to get us going. Nutmeg. Did, we didn't get a point for that. Yeah, I've just, I just realised, I've just realised, guys, that I'm being a complete idiot. I'm getting so confused with this game sometimes because <laughs> I'm trying to explain everything as I'm playing it, and then ended up realising that I need trick points to win this one, not panas. I thought I was playing a panna game for a split second, and yeah, that's not what we're after here. So ignore me. I'm just being stupid as always, and we've still got the ball. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Ugh, come on, man. I've got a game breaker, but I'm not. I don't want to use it at the moment. Ah, you know what? I'm going to use it now. Then, just whatever. That's really good. Ah, oh, see, he always defends. He always defends. Ah, oh, that'll do. You know what? That will do. There. I was going to run out of time if I didn't do something there. Proving to be quite easy this game so far, like really, really easy. Oh, and we got the points there, so we did it, so that's not bad. Yeah, I'm getting real confused. I keep thinking that I'm playing like panners and I'm not playing panners, and then I'm needing goals and I don't need goals. And what is going on? We're going to finish this one off. Um, we'll go to Barra Beach and we'll do a game breaker one. So, yeah, basically, you need to get tricks, getting tricks and Doing beats and whatnot is what's going to help you in this one. So uh, we haven't played here yet. This one, this one's quite a nice um, little arena as well. Like I kind of like this one right on the beach and everything. And it's night time. You know what I'm saying, guys? Whatever that means to you. Um. So yeah. Right. Oh, goal straight away. Nice. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because it's not a game breaker goal. So it kind of means absolutely nothing. So yeah, let's. Uh, Let's get back out there, see if we can get some game breakers. See, I keep I keep getting confused because I keep thinking I'm trying to do one thing, but I'm not doing it. I, I've got to do another thing. So, like, I'm kind of I'm after the points here more than anything. So, and I'm gonna do a nutmeg. That's nice. I think the nutmegs are a little bit tricky though sometimes because like they can like sometimes the ball ends up hitting the um, the player and whatnot and I'm gonna pass all the way back to the keeper for no apparent reason which is cool and that's times four and a goal to go with it really nice there that's definitely given us a game breaker for sure and I think that's Adriano there if I'm not mistaken playing for the other team there we go there's the game breaker now I wonder whether or not I mean if I beat two of them I think we should have won yeah, we should win here if I shoot and score, which, that sh yeah, that should be it. 
So really, you only kind of need one game breaker, but I think on the one way you're going to need four. Yeah, you know what? That was just that was easy enough. <laughs> that was easy enough. The one where we're going to need four, you're probably going to have to get like two game breakers. So I tell you what we'll do, the guys. If I said we were going to finish it up in the last, in the last one, but we'll, what we'll do is we'll do another uh, Pana one here, um, because yeah, like it, it's it, it's hard to predict what I'm going to do in this series, guys. This is what when I said at the start of the series, this series could take forever to get through because it's so unpredictable what's going to happen in it. So I, I say one thing. I say, like, I'm going to do this in this episode. I'm going to do that in this episode and all that kind of stuff. And then it's like, I can't really do it. So, yeah, there's one. And there's two. Oh. And then I scored and got free. <laughs> that was amazing. Like, literally, that was just so quick. That was literally amazing. Like, what the hell? I can't actually believe I won that that quickly. How quick was that? Let's see what the match time was for that. That was so unbelievably quick and easy. 50, literally 15 seconds. I'm not making this stuff up. So I've won Pan and Magic series, which is good, and I've earned 300. So um, I've been invited to the EA Classico tournament. Do I want to enter the tournament now? No, I'm not going to do that. It should be unlocked. Yeah, there it is. Classic players and rules and street rules. Uh, show them what you know. So yeah, that's open. Uh, classic rules, classic football, keeper rules. Um, so no game breakers, no combos, first to score two goals wins. So yeah, kind of interesting that one. Um, the EA one, you need points for that one. So yeah, that's interesting. Uh, anyway guys, you know what, I'm going to maybe finish up this episode then. Um, you know what, I, I'm going to go, I'm going to try and finish up the, uh, the last panel one, I think then in this episode, like, like I'm, I'm getting really, I'm getting kind of a, a bit all over the place with this series because I, I i keep sort of thinking yeah you know what that'll do for this episode or that'll do for this episode and then it just ends up that it's that's we've got more time to do other stuff and i kind of want to cut these episodes into around about 20 minutes each so um yeah let's see if we can get a nutmeg oh we nearly had one there come on man ah blocked see i think in, i think they're starting to get a little bit smarter and we've got Seol Kai Hyon on our team here. A former, um, I think that was a former Reading Ledge, if I'm not mistaken, guys. And they scored a goal. I don't know who that was. I wish it actually told you the players who scored as well, because that would be kind of nice if it did. Come on. Yes, oh, come on, I had that. There we go, 2-1. Ah, oh, blocked again. See what they really are starting to get a little bit smarter. It's either that they're getting smarter, or they're actually um, they're actually um, what are you doing here? That's not what I wanted. Um, they're just like programmed to be a little bit smarter to stop the panners happening. So there we go. We've done it. See, it's that it's really you know what I mean. I'm looking at it thinking, you know, it could be quite difficult. This, but you look at it and you think, well, actually, it's not that hard and is that pe that's peter crouch isn't it that's that's crouchy boy what are you doing crouchy boy what is why is it always the goalkeeper doing those weird moves i don't know anymore but anyway uh pana magic complete we've got another share so what i might actually do pa oh hello panana nana jogged <laughs> l plus um sort of diagonal down okay there's another one for you. We, I don't think I'll be trying that. I'm just going to stick on my nutmegs, I think. But, yeah, you know what? That will do for this episode. I'm going to see how far we are now. We should be very close to the 40 now. Let's have a look, guys, really quickly. Um, let's upgrade. So, you know, let's upgrade our shots. Get the speed up. Let's get the power and defense. You know, I think defense needs to be good for the panners. So we'll get that up. Um, is that it? Can we put anything else on? No, that's it. So we're up to 38 now. Um, so yeah, we might as well spend those. So it might be the next episode, guys. What we might do is we might do the EA Classic Tournament in the next episode. And if there's time, um, 
finish up with the uh, the keeper rules one as well. Maybe just a game on that quick. I think what I'm going to do, because th this is the problem for me, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do all the kickabouts, because there ain't many. And to be honest, I'm nearly at the end of all the kickabouts. Like, I've got to win eight series to unlock the last one there. So, you know what, I might as well just beat them all, pretty much, and then try and improve my play. And I can show you guys them all as well, uh, which is really good. Because in the last FIFA Street, I never got to really do that, because there's just, like, way too many... Um, and it's just the same thing repeated pretty much. Whereas this one, it's, a, it's like a variety of stuff uh, and whatnot. So, um, yes, guys, we're pretty much there now. Uh, so we'll finish up with some more kickabouts in the next episode. We'll probably finish up, because we've done that one, we'll maybe do the... We'll, we'll do the uh, classic, maybe, tournament. Um... And then, I don't know, maybe go back to some of these and just finish them up and whatnot, guys. So, uh, yeah, that will be it for this episode, guys. We're nearly at Team Captain now. Um, yeah, and, and I do apologize. I got really confused in this episode. I've been getting quite confused and, uh, like, sort of like, ah, what's going to happen in each episode? But this game is just, it's so sort of random at first. Whereas when we get into Team Captain, it might be a little bit more organized because we're having to like sort of build the squad and we kind of know what we're doing. So, yeah, guys, anyway, thank you for watching this episode. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and share as always. And I will see you next time for some more Kickaboots. See you then.